you know what I just fucking realised? And this is some joke. This is some fucking joke, right? I don't mean it's a funny one. I mean it's fucking ridiculous, right? I've been a psychi- I've been around the psychiatric hospital in Glanmire for about ten years. Probably I've been an involuntary patient and shit. I've been locked up in there and shit. I've been a mental patient for twenty years. I've been in the HSE as a patient, as a mental patient. Somebody who hears voices. They've offered yoga. They've offered finger painting. That kind of shit. Not once, not once have they even hinted or glanced a mention that the voices in my head aren't real or that people are not out to get me. Not once. And any problems that have come up, they've just dismissed it as, oh, that's just a stupid mentally ill person. What does he do? Do your fucking job. That is ridiculous. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you know what I mean? Like, it might, it might, like, it might help, like, let's just, let's just say, um, if, if you, if, if, if you've got a mentally ill person who hears voices, gets paranoid, you know, gets delusions, gets illusions, well, all that kind of shit, it might help, like, if, if they were sat down every, every couple of weeks, every month, like, let's just say a month on, on the 12th or whatever, once a month, once a week, or at irregular intervals, so that the repetition doesn't get annoying, just every now and then, just be their friend, you know? Just be the mentally ill person's friend. And just mention every now and then, like, just just kind of say it's not real, you know? The voices in your head aren't real, you know? Don't worry, it's be okay. How about, how about that? You don't even have to say it's not real, just don't worry. It'll be okay, don't worry, don't worry, lad. It'll be okay, you'll be fine. It'll be grand. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It'll be nice, it'll be good. Relax, is it be okay? Just a bit of fucking, a bit of fucking care and attention. Like, <laughs> what I had was 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 a therapist banging on my door every fucking every every three days for like five years, saying, "How are you? How are you? How the fuck do you think I am? I was fucking born thirty. 28 years ago, I was fucking born. That's how I am. How are you is a rhetorical question. How are you is a rhetorical question. Think about it. How are you? We don't fucking know. We don't fucking know how anyone is. How do you... Okay, let's let's just say... Let's just say... How are you? It's It's, it's checking up on your mental state, right? How the fuck do you think the person is? They're a mental patient. It is the most retarded question in the in in in, in the conceivable universe, right? But let's let's forget about the abuse of the mental health services, right? Let's say what what they could be doing to help is to just be around the person and just be like, don't don't be wind don't wind the person up. Just be like, be okay, lad. We'll get through it. Just treat them, treat them with a bit of respect. A bit of respect. Ah, oh, you don't mean to say, you don't mean to say that mentally ill people need a bit of love, care, and respect in their lives. No. Oh my God, that that's that's a revelation right there. Mentally ill people need love, care, and respect, and consideration, and to be treated as an equal, not a fucking. Ridiculous retard who just wants to be thrown in the corner so so that nobody notices them. Yeah, you know, wow, <laughs> that's a revelation right there, buddy. Just to be around them, just be like, "Hey, eh, buddy, you'll be okay. Don't worry, don't worry about it. It'll be fine." You know, talk to them about fucking, I don't know, like whatever the fuck people talk about. You know, did you see the match or whatever? I don't know, I, I wouldn't be interested in that because it's just, did you see the match? I don't fucking watch sports, but you know, if you've got a sports person, you know, how about, how about, <laughs> how about the therapist or psychiatrist talks about what they want to talk about? The therapist talks about what the therapist wants to talk about. Hey, hey. And then you've got a person being a person, a person being a person rather than a person being a fucking confusing, disingenuine, inauthentic confusion 
in in the fucking mentally ill person's life because you're treating them like they're a fucking some kind of space alien. You, they they treat the therapist, the, the fucking psychiatrists treat the mental patients like they're a fucking space alien. They're like, okay, so you you're a therapist, right? You chose a career in mental mental health. You chose a career in mental illness to go to to become a psychiatrist to become a mental mental health treatment professor to become a fucking scientist and you're treating mentally ill people like they're space aliens <laughs> yeah okay buddy great career choice there who's the failure who's the failure <laughs> no i don't care about that shit but like just treat them with a bit, with a bit of fucking care and respect you know just like how's it going buddy don't worry. And here's the key point to my fucking rant, right? Not once have the psychiatrists ever said the voices in my head are not real. Do you get that? Not once have they ever said they're not real. I mean, on the one hand, yeah, they, they might they might not want to lie to me. Like, why would we lie to them? We can't tell them they're not real, you know? Why would we lie to them? We want them to know the truth. They are real, you know? So there you have it, but, um, yeah, so, like, um, so they are real or whatever, you know, but, uh, they don't really approach me with fucking any kindness and, and, and fucking genuine fucking person-ness, <laughs> Like, these people are, like, fucking weird, fucking weirdo, fucking confusion, fucking lunatics. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're on about. Like, how are you? What the fuck is that shit? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> That's not... Uh, uh. How do you answer how are you? Well, it's a question designed to ignore... It's a question constructed for ignoring people. You walk into the office, you're like, oh, how are you, Jeff? And then you sit down on the computer. He he ignores you. And, talking. and her coming to the door. Banging on my door. Waking me up with a hangover. And asking me how are you. That's the gaslighting. Do you see? Because it's a question designed for ignoring people. If you if you went up to bang, bang on somebody's door. Be like. You're standing there silently. You know. That's, that's going to. Confuse somebody, they'll be like, What the fuck do you want about? What the fuck do you want? You know? And like, that's the same thing, like, but but to cover it up, they say, How are you? That 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 makes it seem, it makes it seem as if they're interested, but they're not, you know? And it's just, it's just part of it. It's to keep the mentally ill person confused, angry, disconnected from reality, insane, anxious vulnerable it's to keep them all of that and more do you know what i mean and on and all the rest of it you know it's, just, it's to keep keep them completely fucked out of their heads because they got somebody banging on the door three times a week saying how are you how the fuck do you answer that question it's a rhetorical fucking question answer that it's like it's like going to somebody and being do something smart that's what it's like imagine imagine somebody says to you do something smart you'd be like Uh, it, it puts you on the spot and it gives you nothing to go on. It puts you on the spot and it gives you nothing to go along with. Do you know what I mean? It puts you on the spot and it gives you nothing to go along with. How are you? What the fuck? What the fuck? How do you answer that? How the fuck do you answer that when there's somebody banging on your door three times a week that you've told to fuck off about a hundred fucking times how do you answer the question of how are you? How the fuck do you do that? It's putting you on the spot and giving you nothing to go with. That is not a that is not a fucking conversation starter. That's a conversation ender. Well, it's not an ender. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. It's fucking. It's a fucking. It's it's. It gives you nothing to go on. It's it's a. It's a fucking. Oh man. Even now, I still have post-traumatic stress disorder from the, from the therapist that, that was banging on my door saying, how are you? You see what I mean? I've got post-traumatic stress disorder from it. Because it happens so many times. Trolls will do the same thing over and over again just to piss people off. And that's what happened with it. 
she did it about at least fucking. Uh, she did it so many times. It's it's hard to count. It was about three times a week for about five years. It was off and on two times a week, three times a week, five times a week. You know, uh, it was very regular, but it was also unpredictable. It was like whenever. Whenever I didn't want it to happen, she'd be at the door. How are you? I started calling her the flying coconut because she had this fucking brown haired bowl cut you know, therapist. She's a, she's a an a, she's a a Karen to the T. Do you know these cunts? She's she is she is the fucking stereotype Karen, and she has this like fucking brown haired bowl cut. And she, if if you just if you hear the car pull in. And you open your eyes and you you go, like, what the fuck is going on? And you, you don't really know what's going on because you've been drinking a bottle of vodka the night before. And you see her walking, bobbing her head past the window like that. Like that. She looks like a fucking flying coconut going past the window. That's why I started calling her the flying coconut. Now fuck off, you fucking flying coconut cunt. <laughs> you know, bobbing her head <laughs> going past the window. And then fucking... Slamming her keys on the fucking window. Do you want to be woken up with like anything after uh, with a hangover, like like this on the fucking window to wake me up? Her, the end of her keys on the window that I'm sleeping in. Oh my god! It's it is the noise. That you would hear, but right before you fucking stab somebody in the face four hundred and five hundred times, you know, it is the 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 noise that 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 you would hear before you come out there with a fucking knife and just fucking decapitate some cunt. I mean, Mahatma Gandhi would fucking set a fucking elementary fucking school fucking classroom on fire with that fucking noise from that cunt, and then how are you? How did I do it? How did I get through that? How did I get through that without without fucking ripping that cunt and you asshole on her fucking face? You know, oh my god, she 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 should that person that person. Oh my, I swear, I swear. I mean, you might say, oh, so what? It's only it's only a fucking annoyance. What would you rather have? Um, one gunshot wound to the stomach. Or a million fucking fire ant bites all over your body, you know? Well, would you rather be, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather fight another person or would you rather fight a, th a million fire ants, you know? Would you rather fight what you can see directly in front of you, straight up, there it is, you can take it. Or do you rather fight a million tiny little pricks that get into you and fucking... <laughs> you know? Things that you can't see, that, that that you can't prove happened, and you can't fucking prove... And you can't fucking make anyone else see it. And you, you can't... That is that is how psychiatrists fight you, you know? It's the subtleties. You do... Like, you can, you can, you can, fight, you can fight people all day, face-to-face, fist-to-fist... But with things that you can't see, can't prove, it's all subtleties, it's all little gaslighting techniques, all little fucking annoyances. I'm going to annoy you this way and there's no way of you getting past it and proving it, all this shit. There's no way you can get around it. You have to deal with this fucking like fucking little fucking annoyance that I'm going to make you fucking pay attention to this little fucking annoyance. Do you know what I mean? These things happen, and they happen to people like me who have done fuck all, but, you know, once it starts, it doesn't stop, and it just fucking snowballs. <laughs> I've got post-traumatic stress from that bitch saying, how are you, a million and one times, banging on my door, that is the end of it. <laughs>